welcome back everybody we are in the uh, northern part of the lake district today as uh, pretty much as far north in the lake district as you can get uh, today's plan is to uh, head up longlands fell and then on to bray fell and we'll see how we get on then and then perhaps we'll go a little bit further so for now well, uh, we've safely arrived, we're parked, gears already. So let's get off up on them there hills. See you in a bit. The weather forecast for today is uh, for it to be rather hot, but at the moment it's fairly cool. A bit of cloud cover, so try and make much of the ascent as we can before the heat gets too much. Got plenty of water, which is always important when you're hiking in the heat. Just a couple of gentle fells for today. Find in the uh, in the middle of the summer, my work tends to be quite arduous. So save the uh, save the bigger hikes when that eases off. <laughs> Here that we leave the track and head up onto the fell. So now we get to the steep bit. Get in. Now, of course, one of the problems when you walk and it's warm is, is you sweat. And obviously when you sweat, you need to dry yourself off, so don't forget to bring a towel. <laughs> Thanks, Towley. Towley, the perfect face dryer when you're planning on uh, getting high. Up. 
Well, that forecast for sunshine was wrong. I know that much. So, here we are, first Wainwright of the day, Longlands Fell, 1,585 feet above sea level. Nice view across uh, to Binsey over there, and starting to get more detail of uh, Skidore there. You can see the main summit itself, Bakestall, Skidore Little Man beyond, and then you can see uh, Ullock Pike and the associated ridge coming down there uh, towards Bassenford Lake. So, yeah, still hazy. That seems to be the way of things, my uh, my walks at the moment. It's a nice breeze, so it's not too hot. So, on now to uh, the second summit of the day, Bray Fell. <music> path drops down to a small call and then rises up onto where Lowthet fell, which isn't a wane, right? Well, I imagine it's a burkett. Uh, so, the conundrum facing me is, do I go up onto the next top? which wouldn't gain me anything from a Wainwright point of view. So I skirt around the bottom of it, and there was clearly a path hugging the contours there, and that gets me up on debris I fell over there. Now, the lazy part of me just wants to skirt the old contour there, because that looks easy. But the adventure in me wants to run straight up the front of the fell. Hmm. Tricky. <laughs> I think 
if I was simply, if I was heading on to Bray Fell and then onto Great Score Fell and then up onto Knot, I'd probably save my legs, those, uh, those feet of ascension, and just skirt around the bottom of this fell. But I'm only heading up onto Bray Fell today and then coming back, so might as well do as much as I can. Of course, I'll regret it in five minutes, but you know. Hey ho. that fell, not a Wainwright, higher than Longlands fell though, lower than Bray fell though. <laughs> well, now I've never fully understood Wainwright's uh, classifications for why he included certain fells and not others. Might be something to do with prominence, maybe, did I read that somewhere? I don't know, I probably just made that up. But yeah, I mean, I do appreciate that there's lots of arguments over what should have been included or shouldn't have been included. But at the end of the day, it's his list. He can put on what he wants. Uh, I did rather amusingly see somebody refer to the ones that he should have included but hadn't as the way in wrongs, which appealed to my uh, sense of wordsmithery. Yeah, and there's the sun. Beautiful. towards Brayfell now. Seems to be a reasonably gentle climb. Nothing too serious. There's nothing there's nothing massively exciting about the scenery around here. Lots of domes, lots of smooth fell sides, not much in the way of crags. But in some ways it does make for a much easier hike. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. So as we uh, climb up towards the summit of Bray Fell, it's a fairly, fairly gentle climb, very clearly defined path, no hazards, just simple upland walking. Still a nice little gentle breeze there, just helping to keep things cool. But obviously, when the sun comes out, things do warm up a touch.
So that's uh, Bray Fell, second rain rate of the day, 1,920 feet above sea level, just tantalizingly short of that 2,000 barrier. And uh, yeah, it's only 12 o'clock. So I reckon I can probably make it across the Great Score Fell there, back a third one of the day. And then a bigger line back down to the car. So we've plenty of time to get home. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So, great score fell. Bonus fell of the day. Let's go get to it. I'm just approaching Little Scorfell here. Now, by all accounts, Little Scorfell is more impressive at the top than Great Scorfell on account of its cane and shelter, which uh, I will no doubt discover momentarily. Scorfell, not a Wainwright, Great Scorfell, on the other hand, is. So, one last climb to what should be the highest point of the day, and then I think it'll be time to head back down to the old car. So yeah, bit of a bit of a saunter really as far as fell walking goes, but it'll have bagged another three way in rights. Get me three three summits closer to the prize. So I'll take that. Absolutely.
there we are. Third summit of the day. Great score fell, 2,136 feet above sea level. So I've breached the 2,000 feet barrier and therefore I feel just a little bit better in myself <laughs> now that I've got to turn around and head back down. So, still very hazy up here. It's also photography weather. Uh, which is a shame because we've got a nice view of Bake Stall there on the flank of uh, Skidder, but well, as I say, it is what it is. And so there we are, three more Wainwrights in the bag. All that's left to do now is get back down to the car, a little drive, and off for a lovely cool pint of cider. Looking forward to it. Let's go. So here I am, safely back at the car. Another three Wainwrights done. Longlands fell, Bray fell, and Great Scar fell. So thank you for joining me. I'm off now to get home and collapse in a heap somewhere. And hopefully you'll join me next time. Until then, take care. Ta-ta. Thank you.